Before this video starts, I want to provide a quick disclaimer. Please do not send any hate or harassment to any individuals in this video, especially Isaac Heimer. I know it is very enticing right now to dogpile on him because of this situation, but trust me, you will not get anything done by needlessly sending hate. Alright, let's jump right into the video. Hey folks, how's it going? It's Game Webcam. Now, originally I wasn't planning on making this video at all. I was actually about to, to go to sleep a couple of hours ago. And then I received several pings uh, from a couple of different Discord servers telling me that Brick Planet has shut down. So when you visit BrickPlanet.com, you are greeted with the following page right here. The truth, I am no longer interested in running Brick Planet. I started this game at the age of 17, all from a simple website that imitated Roblox. After sharing it on the Roblox forum for feedback, the website began to exponentially gain new players, 500 in the first day. I did not plan or intentionally set out to make money at first or develop any long-term plans for Brick Planet. I honestly just went with the flow since it was an opportunity at the time. The first two years were amazing. However, over time, I have come to realize that I do not have any passion left for Brick Planet. I have tried to rekindle my passion through reopening it multiple times. Ultimately, I have come to realize that running Brick Planet is just not something I want to do in my life. With that being said, it has been amazing to see the community that came from Brick Planet's success. Thank you to all the players for your support. I love the fact that many of you made great memories and met new friends. Isaac. Alright, so I want to give a few cents uh, on this little excerpt here. Now, what I do believe is that he started this as a passion project a little. Like you know, initially starting it because he wanted to do his own thing or or the fact that he uh, saw a lot of players enjoy this community. I did not plan or intentionally set out to make money at first. I have been around uh, Brick Planet since the Block City days and if there's anything that I do remember from the Block City days, uh, before uh, Brick Planet even had a client to begin with, I remember that there was definitely a membership page that you could definitely pay money for and pay for a virtual membership on that website. In fact, I almost bought a virtual membership on Block City because I was so enticed to see what Block City would become. And fortunately, my parents actually stopped me from buying that membership because the website had no client. And seeing how history has played out, I have definitely dodged a bullet here. But if I had to give my overall opinion on this whole excerpt, you can really tell that it is pretty much a half-assed message that he just scrambled together in just a few minutes. Now here's the thing. I am not surprised at all that this was going to happen. Considering the prior history of Brick Planet shutting down many times, I had a huge suspicion that this iteration of Brick Planet wasn't going to work out. That is why I made a commitment to not spend a single penny on this website. Now, I do understand that a lot of you guys have actually spent money because you believed and put your part into Brick Planet. If you are one of those people, I am very sorry that your vision of having a decent Roblox alternative did not work out. If you did use PayPal to buy any of these rings, please try your best to get a refund. Although I will warn you, it is unlikely it'll happen because there there are a few things that will prevent you from probably getting a refund. Allegedly, Isaac used a family and friends option for his transaction so people can't do chargebacks. And the other thing is that these purchases might be considered donations. A donation means you shouldn't expect to receive a product in return. Perhaps PayPal may investigate this situation and hopefully refund all of those who bought ranks, but again, this is not a guarantee. Again, the fact that Brick Planet was going to fail and shut down again is not surprising. However, the most shocking part was how he did it. 
The way Brick Planet shut down was very abrupt. The Discord server was deleted and not a single person was told about the shutdown. Not even the staff. If there is anybody that I have the most respect for in this situation, it is the Brick Planet staff. They seriously worked hard to make this iteration of Brick Planet a reality. Voluntarily. Because they love the community and the vision that Brick Planet gives. Now the staff have come together and managed to make a clone of the Discord server before it vanished. And if you want to join the server for yourself, the invite link will be in the description down below. I am going to be dedicating this next section of the video to talking to the Brick Planet staff and sort of make their voices heard on the situation. Keep in mind, I 100% was unprepared for this, so sorry if some of the questions I asked sound weird or wonky. I just want to say this one more time before I start, though. Please do not send any hate to any individuals, including Isaac Keimer. Don't get me wrong, he definitely should be held accountable for his actions, but I don't condone spewing hatred and committing hateful acts for revenge. Anyways, here's my chat with the Brick Planet staff. So one of the staff members is saying that none of you have been notified that this shutdown was going to happen. Is this true? That's 100% true. I'm curious, did you guys all do this as like volunteer work or was there like an actual like payroll behind this? No, he was getting paid. So I heard that people are not getting refunds for like their purchases they've been making to brick planet what would you suggest as a course of action for those who have decided to spend money towards like a beta testing rink or something like that oh frip i want you guys to realize before you purchase something read the fine print right read the fine print realize what you're purchasing because all these people that purchased something was just to support Brick Planet. They didn't. They wasn't getting nothing from Brick Planet. So it's not like he, Isaac doesn't really owe anybody refunds because it's just for support. You know what I'm saying? So it was more like a donation rather than like an actual product that they were purchasing. Exactly. Exactly. So while this is shocking to see that it all of a sudden has shut down, at the same time, I'm sort of not surprised that this has happened. I wasn't expecting it to go like that, though. Like everything be gone in an instant. That part I was not expecting. Yeah, man, this is. <laughs> 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 no, you said it right, bro. You said it right. You said it, you right. Said it right. I'm curious, like, considering that Brick Planet has now shut down, what do you think you guys are going to plan on doing uh, afterwards? Like, do you think you're probably going to move to, like, another platform like Brick Hill or Politoria? Or do you think, nah, this is it. I'm going to just stop doing this and, you know, sort of pursue my own thing. Every single one of us that's here, that, that was a part of, that was a a uh, part of the Brick Planet staff team. I'm telling you now, we're going to start something new. And it's going to be bigger than Brick Planet, and I don't want anybody to think it's no competition on any other platform. We're going to work so good with Brick Hill. We're going to work so good with World to Build. We're going to work good with everybody. There's no competition, but you know what? We're here to stay. The cool thing about this community, though, is that we can find them on any other platform, right? So, like, right, Brick Hill, for example, we could find all our community on there, even down to our former staff members. I remember months ago coming across this ex-Brick Planet staff member by the name of Alex. He apparently was, like, the former head of staff or something, and he said that there was, like, a lot of nightmarish scenarios when working with Isaac and all that sort of stuff. We were speaking about the same one. He was a part of the Black City team. So that was way before we even had the new Brick Planet version. But you know what, though? The crazy part about it, we all going through the same sh He's right, though. He's right. But nowadays, things were better. Things were so much better that we did not even believe this could happen. I 100% believe you, because when I first stepped foot into the Brick Planet server, I didn't actually expect for the Brick Planet Discord server to actually be so welcoming. Getting back to what you were saying before about uh, what is our next move as a staff team, I would say definitely keep in, keep a lookout for us. We are going to want to communicate our next steps with media, especially you. We're not speaking, me and I can speak for everybody here, we're not speaking to speak bad on Isaac, right? We're not, bad, we're not here to bash Isaac Hammer. We're not do we're not doing none of that. 
I get it. You don't want to like ha wish any bad will on Heimer. I get it. I get yeah, it. nah. So don't so don't put that up as we're like we're bashing Isaac. Because a lot of your videos, it seems like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. But don't get me wrong, though. There has to be some criticism for this. And I'm sorry that everybody that joined this community, I'm sorry myself. It's me speaking we, for yeah, all this is we, tried, we tried really hard to keep everyone sorry. happy. Every single one of us is sorry for y'all. We, we, as a staff team, we work really, really hard. Again, thank you guys so much for taking your time uh, to come and talk with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to sign off now. and Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm going to head out. Peace out. Of course, this is more than likely not going to be the end of the situation. There is probably going to be a follow-up video regarding this. Because if you heard what Wave God said, he said that he wanted to keep Brick Planet going without Heimer. And while I respect this decision, I don't know how well that is going to pan out. More than likely, they're going to have to completely rebrand the platform if they want to go this route. Because we know what happened with Brick Planet Patched. Personally, I would get the mod team together and try to discuss more about what to do going forward as things slowly settle down. But who knows? I would love to see how this situation evolves over time. Now, I know that the Brick Planet staff want nothing to do with Heimer, and they clearly state that they have no bad blood for him. However, as I said, he needs to be held accountable to some degree. Mr. Heimer, I know you are going to be watching this video, so here's what I have to say to you. Please don't ever touch or mention Brick Planet ever again. Heck, don't ever try running another sandbox platform. You had so many chances to try and make a decent platform, and you threw every chance away like it was nothing. If you have any sense of humanity left, you should offer refunds to every single person who decided to purchase access to your platform. After that, I want you to completely disappear. I think it is in your best interest that you fade into obscurity and hopefully you won't be this manipulative to anybody in the real world. And I really do suggest you start trying to live a normal life. Otherwise, you're going to be putting yourself at risk if you continue. Anyways, that's really all I have to say in this situation. It's literally almost 4 in the morning and I am just tired out, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload another video to this channel. This is Game Webcam, and take care.